Hi everybody. Today's video is going to be somewhat of a simpler, maybe a little fun one for some of y'all. Um, I want to add navigation lights to my drone. Specifically, I want, you know, the, the typical red and green pattern that you might find on aircraft and on boats so that you can understand the orientation. And I want a flashing um, white strobe light just to be able to make it more visible in the sky. And so what I'm going to show you is these, um, these Cree or actually these, these strobe on, let me get one that I can show you, strobe on Cree, uh, strobe on version 2 Cree edition lights that I bought from a company called Flytron. And it basically has a Futaba or a JR connector, right, with um, positive voltage, negative, and a signal wire. And what that lets you do is connect it to a port on your on your receiver and as long as it's getting a, a, a signal a PWM pulse it will synchronize the flashing of all these different lights and so these are five volt lights and I hope to mount these at the ends of each drone and I'll link to you in the um, in the github that I have I, I created a little circular 3d printed mount that will screw to the bottom of the motors and then this I'm just using a little bit of Velcro to, to stick the, the light to the bottom of each motor. Um, I'm gonna have five lights total, two red, two green for the back corners of the, um, of the X pattern and then a flashing white light that I'll probably put on top of it. Um, I don't think that's the established actual pattern for aviation flight, right? When I was trying to read about it, it looks like you want it to be your red and green lights to be forward facing. Um, but I think this will be at least recognizable by others and hopefully help me fly it a little better too so i can tell the orientation through through the navigation lights so let's head on over to the bench and we're going to pop open the top of this drone we're going to start to um, show you how i'm going to attach these to the to the arms to the motor mounts and i'll show you how we're going to uh, power it and then connect it to a port on the here link controller so that you can turn them on and off so let's get started Okay, the first thing I want to do is walk you through the parts you need for this build. So, of course, you need your, your strobe-on lights, which will be linked to in the bill of materials. Okay, and I've got these labeled. I put a black piece of tape on the one that has my white strobe light. The um, red ones are unlabeled right now, and the green ones have a green piece of tape on them. Okay, now these already come with the Futaba connector on one end, but they were not long enough for me to reach from the motor mount to inside the frame and so i've already connected this so i can't show it but all i did right in the middle here maybe you could see there's a servo extender wire so you can buy these off of amazon and all this stuff is linked to in the bill of materials on the github every part that i've used so that will get you a nice long cable that i then put some sleeving around that is also linked to i think this is the quarter inch sleeving so I'm going to use that just to keep the wiring looking nice, I think, as, as I think I'm going to have to zip tie this on the outside of the frame arms. So hopefully this will add some, add some strength to it and keep it looking nice. So the other part you're going to need, too, is if you followed my build exactly, you remember off the, off the BEC, I made a little octopus cable that had a bunch of 5-volt, um, uh, I think these are the JH connectors, for supplying power to other devices that I want to plug in. And so what we're going to need to do is this end is going to connect to that octopus cable that I built. See one of the prior videos, I think it's the core carrier board electronics one where I, that I set all this up in. And then, and that'll walk you through the BEC that I use and everything as well. And then on the other end, and these are, this is just an adapter I bought from Amazon, again, linked in the bill of materials. We've got this Futaba or JR connector, I think it's called. That just has power, okay? There's no signal wire. It's just giving me the, the negative and the positive. And what we need to do is we need to apply power from the BEC to this connector on the left, and then on the right, this connector is gonna plug into one of the ports on the core carrier board, the auxiliary port, so that we can power that whole rail, okay? The other thing you're gonna need is a, um, I don't know, Y connector, or this is one, one port to four outputs so that i think it's called a servo splitter and 
again, I bought this off Amazon, but you're gonna need two of these because I got five lights total. So I needed to chain these together so I can get um, enough output ports to power all the lights. So I took one of these, right? And it's gonna connect to another one of these servo splitters that will then get me four more ports out of it. So a little overkill, but that will get me support for a total of seven lights coming out of the one port. Now, the reason I have this splitter is because this is going to connect to one of the auxiliary ports on the core carrier board. And that is going to be controlled by a switch or a button on the Heerlink controller to allow me to turn these lights on and off. And because they're all connected to the same channel and PWM signal, if the lights are flashing, they'll all synchronize with the same pattern. Or if they're you know solid, I can just turn them on and off simply through the button. Um, so another thing you might look at is let's grab one of these red lights. You know, how does this look? So if you take a light and I got a little power supply here, that's just giving five volts. So if I go ahead and apply five volts to this, so you can test these outside of the drone. And if I go ahead and turn on my power supply, this is what the light looks like. Okay. So I think for my red and green, I'm going to go ahead and do just a solid pattern for right now. On the edge of these lights, I'll send you to the documentation so you can see it, but um, to look it up. But on the edge here, there's actually two little pins, two little pads inside that, that if you touch it with tweezers, you can change the pattern. So you can get a nice slow kind of pulse, or you can get a, a triple flash. Um, it, it's got a lot of nice modes. I think there's maybe five different modes total. So let me show you one that does flash. My my white light I have set up in a strobe pattern. So if I give this thing power, and pull the tape off so you can see it, you're going to see how that's going to flash. So I intend for this to be on the top of the drone, giving off a nice little pulse. So hopefully it can be identified in the air and other people can see it as a potential hazard. So that I think sets the stage for what we're about to do. I wanted to show you all the parts that were required before we dove in. Of course you need everything else that I've built in the prior videos. So on the drone itself, when I open up the internals again, there's a core carrier board, there's a cube orange autopilot or flight controller and, um, you know, a BEC that has already been set up to provide power to all sorts of devices. So all that is, of course, a prerequisite and a dependency for this to work right. So I will pause this video and open up the drone and show you how I'm going to start connecting these. Oh, one more important thing, too, that you'll need. In the files themselves, there is a, uh, in, the, in the GitHub repo, there's a 3D printed file section. And in that, I set up these little circles, and let me pull it off the drone real quick while I'm filming. I set up these little circles that you put a, 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 an M3 screw through it, and these you can 3D print, and they will mount to the bottom of the hobby wing motors, okay? So... What's nice about that is the hobby wing motors already come with screw holes so you can attach auxiliary devices and so forth. So I printed this so that it lines up, can be mounted, and my intent then is to be able to take one of these strobe lights or these navigation lights and I put a little piece of Velcro on the back of each and I'm going to Velcro it and stick it to the bottom of this. Now this, now this whole pad then will end up screwing to the bottom of my hobby wing motor. And hopefully um, these lights will stick on nicely and, and be stable. So now I think you know everything you need to know. So let's get over to the drone and I'll show you how we're gonna start installing these. So to install the lights on this drone, I'm gonna need to open up the top here. So I'm gonna take this top plate off. There's eight screws there. And then I'm also gonna take this plastic shell off the lid. I need to get at the electronics on the inside and be able to run the wires. What I think it's gonna look like though is you know, I got this motor and 
what I'm going to do is on the bottom here I plan to mount uh, or use velcro to mount the light and then I'm just going to run the cable along the edge and zip tie it and probably run it through that hole right there it should go on in the inside and I should be able to connect to my Y connectors inside then for powering the lights so I'm gonna go ahead and just pop off those screws in the in the top and then I'll pick up recording there all right I went ahead and popped the shell off and so prior videos you'll see I created this compute board with a Raspberry Pi and the here link air unit and stuff I'm gonna go ahead and just flip that forward so that I can get at the core carrier board underneath now I'll get a close-up in a few minutes here but essentially you know here's this Y connector that's going to go on the inside we need to be able to get at the carrier board itself so let me show you how I got this hooked up in a second and then I'll start running cables All right, where you need to get at is these auxiliary pins on the core carrier board where the air unit is also connected to. So the first thing I want to do is on my first auxiliary output, I'm going to take this Y connector and I'm going to plug that up to the very top port. So auxiliary port one. And you can see here is, it's just the servo splitter, right? It's, it's connected to that port and coming out so I'll be able to connect my lights to that I'm gonna to have to connect a second servo splitter now the second piece we need to connect remember I had that adapter from a JH connector from my BEC to um, a Futaba or JR connector and so here's my BEC port up there it's all wire wrapped and, and um, zip tied down, but basically I'm plugging that one wire in And if I extend it out you can maybe see the whole thing here I've got that wire A lot of wires in here right coming from that black port Or from that BEC 5 volt port to a Futaba connector Now I'm gonna go ahead and just connect that I'm going to connect that to auxiliary port number six on this. So that will power the entire rail. Let me try and get a close up of that. So there you can see my servo splitter is at the top, and my power is coming into. This, uh, the third one from the bottom, it's essentially two ports up. There's one empty port in between the hair link connection and where I connected that power rail. Okay, so that's what our power connections look like. And then what I'm going to do, because I got four lights that I want to hook up, I've got a second splitter. Right, so I'm going to connect that to one of these ports. And then I should be able to have enough ports in here to run all the wires and connect all the strobe lights. So let me pause there and start setting up to mount the strobe lights and show you that. All right, now for this next step, I've got the drone facing forward, right? So orientation is forward. This is the back right arm. And what I want to do is I'm going to take the lights that we assembled with the sleeving okay and what I want to do is use the velcro and I'm going to stick it to the bottom of each one and then I'm going to run the wire across the carbon fiber tube and I'm going to run the servo connector inside that hole up on the arm and so what, what I'm going to end up with is two green lights on the back right and the front light arms, front right arms. And then the two red lights will be on the back left and the front left arms. And finally, the white light is just going to hang out in the middle here. And we're going to run a cable up and come to the top of the drone there. So I'm going to go ahead and do one of these and show you what it looks like. 
and then I'll do the rest. It's going to be just a lot of rinse and repeat, so I don't want to show you a whole video of just attaching wires. And then we'll start to plug them all in. So let me let me mount this one, and then I'll show you what it looks like. And then we'll move on to the rest. Okay, I got the light mounted at the bottom of the motor. And all I did was just run that along the carbon fiber tube and zip tie it. And so that comes all the way up. And I actually went in this hole here because there was a little bit more room. It's coming out here. And it's connected to our Y connector or our servo splitter right now. So that's how I ran this. And then let me go and run the other three on the motor arms and the white light up top. And I'll show you what it looks like. All right, I got all the wires run. The lights you're seeing right now are just the hobby wing x rotor lights so you can see the strobe lights are mounted to the bottom and they run in and connect to those servo splitters like i was showing you earlier and this will be the back left arm here and then on the top for right now i just mounted this white strobe light right in the middle of my plate for kind of an aerial beacon. So now what I have mapped here is I've got my D button mapped in the Heerlink controller. I'm sorry, um, yeah, the D button and a short press on it mapped to output to channel six, okay? And on the auxiliary input in Mission Planner, you've got, I, I've mapped channel six to output servo nine, okay? And this D button short press is set to a toggle mode with a default value of 1000 or low and an active value of 2000 or high. And so when I press that, let me show you, see if I can see it all. You see, I saw a couple lights come on. And you can see my bottom strobes come on as well. So watch that red one, it's a little easier to see with that one. Press it again, I can shut it off. Press D button, I can turn it on. Okay, so look at the ArduPilot configuration I got in the wiki. It will show you the parameter that I'm setting, which is servo nine function is set to 56 and what that means is I'm configuring servo port 9 which is auxiliary port 1 on the core carrier board to pass through channel 6 from my controller it's a little bit confusing in the way all this mapping works but it, it does work so yeah there's the strobe lights then And these front arms are just bent down, but you can see there's a green and a red. Now what I might want to do is try to figure out how to change these hobby wing motors too. These lights on the end. I think it's possible. But it would be nice to set my red ones, or my left hand side, to have red colors in it. Might make it just a little bit easier to see. And maybe I'll tinker with making them strobe or flash. But... I'm not sure yet. We'll see what it looks like in the air. So that's what this looks like. Hopefully this helps you add navigation lights to your drone.